No, it was a, uh, really a great team win, and you look at the conditions that we uh, battled through, and just to see our defense step up and play the way they played, and the way we started off that game offensively, we were able to get some drives established. Couldn't really throw the ball, but uh, made some outstanding runs. You look at Jay Gray, I think, I don't know if he got 100 yards, but I know he was uh, pretty close to it. And then at the end of the game, went there with our 18 wheeler, her big swoops, and, and watching him just run behind his pads and run through people. But we know this, we still got to improve. We have to get better. And uh, we just look in the next week, we know it's going to be a tough road game for us, but we have to go on the road, we have to play well. And it's a one game season. So the next opponent up is uh, Iowa State. And we just got to make sure that we just improve this week, fundamentals and technique, and, and just continue to build on some, be consistent, and just play with a lot of confidence. It just comes down now, it's all about confidence and guys believing in themselves. <clears throat> Coach, regardless of the conditions, you, you kind of did what K-State has done to Texas for years and, and kind of beat them up front. How proud of you are the way you were able to run the ball, knowing pretty much for the most part they knew the run was coming and you're still able to run it? We did, Bob. And they, they loaded a box with eight, and we knew we were going to get eight in a box. And, and we told our guys all week long it's going to be eight in a box. Somebody's got to stay on the block and, and make sure that our running backs can just run through tacklers. And then uh, defensively, we knew they were going to run the ball, so we needed to load the box. Also, they had some runs that squirted it out on us. But uh, it's all about just being physical and playing physical and then dominating at the point of attack. Right front, Sean. Coach, how do you balance um, kind of the weather, being aggressive, but not taking too many risks when you have a lead in a game like this? Well, you just uh, had to be balanced and, and just make sure, uh, Sean, that it's – that once you establish, like we established a run game, now let's stay with it. Now, I know we're going to get in some third and longs, and even this, and I was just trying to balance it also with our kicking game. Because so, once that ball crossed the 50, I said, hey, we're going to go for it. So if it's third down, just give me half, and then we'll get the other half on fourth down, just by the, the way that the weather was and, and uh, how it was going. But uh, we were able to just uh, keep the drives going, and, and we, um, you know, we get the one down there and get a holding call. You know, we get the holding call on their sideline, then we get a holding call with a blew it on the one big run. But it, it, it's all about us just establishing the run and, and making sure that you know we can be balanced. And we threw a couple of balls, but not many. I don't know how many yards. I know one much yards passing, huh? <laughs> Coach, um, in a lot of ways, this was a, a prove-it game that that Oklahoma win was was true and a sign of things to come. Do you, do you feel like you did that today? And and how, I guess, what did you think of your guys coming out with that newfound confidence? How much did that help? It's all about confidence, Dennis, and, and the guys have to just believe in themselves. And, and we didn't want that game. Everyone says a fluke. Hey, all of a sudden, they still riding high. And, uh, you know, the way you look at it, you don't like to have open dates, but maybe that open date really did help us because now we were able to, you know, give them a couple of days all kind of heal up and then come back and where we can get our focus back uh, on uh, K-State. And that's what we were able to do starting on Sunday. I said, hey, you done had enough pats on the back. Everybody done told you you've seen it enough. Now let's move forward. Charlie, you've won 48, 45 type games here before, but it seems like you enjoyed these type of wins more. Is this kind of who you want to be as a team? Well, you like these more just because of the score. I, I just like those low scoring games because I, I know this. When we get low scoring games, the defense is playing good. When I get those 50 and 48, they we're not playing very good. And um, But it's, it's all about just establishing, just establish our identity. And just, just knowing defensively we have to go out and play. And, and you talk about it all the time and you preach about it. But still, I know there's offenses that can move the ball up and down the field. But you just got to find a way to get a stop. And we were able to get those stops today. Charlie, when the, when the weather's like it was today, how much do you have to maybe not focus so much on all the details of the game, which maybe weren't always pretty, and just be satisfied that the guys were able to do enough to, to come out of here with a win? And that's what it was, Ricky. Early, I said that. I say, listen, guys, it's, it won't be pretty today. It may it may be sloppy out there. It's going to be slushy, and but we just got to go out and just score when we have an opportunity to go score on offense. Just get some points on the board, and, and then make sure that they try to get, play catch up with us. Because whoever get, takes over early and and establishes themselves then you're going to always have to fight from behind because now and it's hard to throw the ball. You know, he made some throws, but really at the end of the day, it's hard to throw the football in those type of uh, conditions. 
Hey, Coach, when you start the season one and four, even if a win's not pretty, I mean, do you just pretty much say a win's a win? We put together two straight. That's all that matters? That's all that matters right now. And, and I talk to our players about it. And it's a one-game season. And, hey, let's get ready for the next one and, and just make sure that, you know, we just continue to build on it. Now, you know, you got ones. You still have some momentum going. And let's make sure that we take advantage of it. As far as the passing game, do you feel like have you lost any confidence in Gerard, and has Gerard lost any confidence in his passing? No, no, we haven't. And today, it's it just was one of those games. I don't know if he he told me coming off, I can't grip the ball. So it was more like if he was going to throw a pass, it was going to be a shot put out there, you know. And and I didn't want the ball to kind of hang. And all of a sudden, we turned the ball over, and we felt like we could run the ball. And even when he dropped back on third down, I say, you know what? If the rush breaks down. Go get the go get the first down. Let's keep the drives going, and uh, you know he made a, the throw down there to blow it, and then he hung one out to Burt, which was uh, you know it was knocked down. But then Burt got knocked out of bounds, and he kind of threw the ball back inside and made a good throw to him. But no, that we we have not lost any confidence at all. We've been able to you know win at the line of scrimmage. So if we can win at the line of scrimmage, let's keep, uh, continue to pound people. Yeah, Charlie uh, Norvell said that. Um, you're going to need Tyrone Swoops to win some games, and uh, he kind of showed up, flashed there late. Um, will that increase his playing time, and uh, will you play him more early in games than you have? I've always told Tyrone, even when uh, when we ma made that change with uh, Gerard, I said, listen, there's no reason for you to hang your head. You're still going to be a part of it, and uh, you, you never know when you're going to show up. And I said, it won't only just be in the short yardage package. And he said, well, Coach, uh, just, give me, just give me some more clock. And I said, well, I'm going to give you as much clock as I possibly can. But you, you watch him at the end of that game and him running behind his pads, and he's just so strong and so physical. And the only thing we needed was a lead blocker, which we had. You know, the, the one that got me is that third and one. I'm going to say, well, you know, we threw that ball, Sad. What were you saying? Why are they throwing the football? I know you said that. I know Bowles said it. Huh? You did tweet it. Why did we? I knew Brian Davis was going to ask me that question. Why did we throw that ball? I like to know myself. I was like, hey, pound them, all right? Just run right at them. With swoops, it's a first down. He's going to fall for a first down. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no. Hey, he heard it. Yeah, he heard it. <laughs> Charlie, it looked like K-State was going to get a short field in a one-touchdown game, and then Dixon makes an unbelievable play there. Um, that, combined with the recovery on Rose's kick, nice to see your special teams do some positive things. Oh, it was great to see it. But then, you know, once that ball sailed over his head, I said, oh, God, here we go again. But uh, he was able to recover it and then kick the ball. And then just him just getting the ball just kicked and he would give us a good roll on it. And then the sky kick what was happening. When we were kicking to the open end, the wind was catching the ball and kind of hanging it. So I said, hey, listen, just kick it to the right. Let's just sky kick it out there and see if we can get it. And then uh, Vaccaro made an unbelievable, you know, he just ran down there and just outran, you know, just fought and got the ball. Didn't get any points out of it. We would love to, to establish something and get some points out of it. But we had to continue to improve. You know, Trey Holtz is doing a great job, but just because the, the, the uh, balls that came back today on the field goals and extra points were just so, you know, they weren't because we couldn't grip it. So we made some unbelievable catch of getting the ball down and uh, being able to execute. <clears throat> hey, Charlie, just to be clear, Drud, was he hurt at the very end of that game? No, 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 no. We just went with the big package. Okay. So because of what happened, you looked up and it was, what, five minutes? And, hey, just go get for two first downs. So uh, we put the 18-wheeler in there and let him go get him. You know, six, six games into, you know, six starts for Gerard now. How do you kind of assess what you've seen from him? You know, what pleases you about him? You know, and he'll tell you, he can, he, we know this, he can get better and he just continues to improve and it's more the throwing game. We just got to get him more throws, but we know this, he can beat you with his feet now. It, we just got to make sure that we can get everything where he continues to build as a quarterback and just see things, get us in the right plays, make the right checks. But if we just continue to pl just play well up front with our offensive line and kind of protect him, it's all about protecting the quarterback, especially when you have a young quarterback like Gerard, just don't put it all on him and make guys have to make plays around. Him. Sean, front coach, uh, obviously, Tyrone Soups has worked as a change of pace, but uh, even today, it looked like Kansas State was a little bit prepared for what he was going to do. Are you going to have to expand his package to make sure people don't know what he's doing when he comes in the game? Yeah, because what we've been doing is, you know, it's a powered off the off tackle play, and and the, even with the one where he had uh, where we threw the ball on the third down, he was wide open. You see, everybody ran to the line of scrimmage, ran to that side, and all of a sudden there he is, and and we don't make the the catch there. 
But it's all about us just making sure that we do expand that package. And he can throw the ball, which now it puts a lot more pressure on the defense because they, they're not so quick to load a box when you got a guy who can go extend it, especially without our receivers on the field. Has the offensive line kind of established the identity as the team right now? Like, do you just kind of see them being nasty? Well, they played two straight weeks of we've been able to uh, control the line of scrimmage, and we just got to continue to improve there. Uh, you know, we got Perkins back today, which was a big help for us, and because he, he's just uh, so solid inside, and it just makes the whole line solid. But they, they're doing a really good job. They're they're staying on blocks, they're moving people at the point of attack, and we're able, we've been able to run the ball and protect the quarterback. Charlie, with, you know, Jason Hall laying out uh, Hubner on the first play, uh, the offensive line establishing themselves. Slowly but surely, is this exactly what you want Texas to be? Well, you have to play, be physical, and you, you talk about it all the time. And, and we talk about just mental toughness and physical toughness, and those things are, you know, they you say it, and then a lot of times, you know, they hear it over and over and over. But you, you do, and you, you need to have a physical presence to you. You know, you look at Jay Hall's size, and you have a big safety there, so you expect him to make those type of hits. And then with their offensive line, you expect him to control the line of scrimmage and been able to move people. Even though you have two young guys, you know, I, t I tell them all the time, I tell Connor and Bob, they're no longer freshmen, so I don't, we don't need to talk about that anymore. We just need to make sure we protect that quarterback. But you have to have a physical presence to you. Hey, Coach. Um, were you surprised at how it didn't seem like Coach Snyder's team was really prepared early on for what you had to do? They're usually so prepared. You know, early penalties from their side, were they, were they out of sync, or was it just something you guys were able to do? No, I, I think he, he had them prepared because even when we was talking before the game, we was talking about, you know, the two of us, just how critical this game was for both sides. You know, he needed it, and I told him I, I need it more than he does. And uh, and uh, I, said, I said, you need it, but I really need it. But uh, but I, I could tell that, uh, you know, with his team, you know, that, because even when we jumped out there, they, they were able to fight back and and, uh, and and get back into the game and make it a game. And because, like you said, we were, we jump out, what, 16 to nothing now. You have a 17, I mean, a seven-point game there with about uh, five or six minutes to go in the game. Charlie, I know you talked earlier this year about Hassan Ridgeway needing to get healthy. Can you evaluate his play not just today but the last couple of weeks? And, and how much better is this defense when he's at his best? When <clears throat> when Ridgeway is able to dominate up front, then we're, we're pretty good on defense. And and because the thing he does is he can he can beat a one on one block. A lot of times you, you have to have guys, and so he'll force a double team. So when he does force a double team, it allows the, the backers to run through. It allows the backers to roam. It allowed other players to go make plays. But you know he's so big and so strong, and he it is really quick for his size. You know he's not one of those guys in the middle where you get a big guy who can't move, who's kind of a slug in there. He's not a slug. He's a guy that. Can, can rush the passer, can beat one-on-one -on -one blocks, and, and just uh, early he sets it for us because he's able to control. If he controls the line of scrimmage and, and we see him getting off, then it kind of the whole defense looks at him and then they start picking it up and they start playing. Uh, Coach, the team had so much trouble uh, wrapping up the quarterback early in the season, but you all have recorded 11 sacks in the last two games. Is it something different that you all are doing or is it just a matter of comfortability? A lot of times, early, uh, the guys are just releasing the ball quicker. And and, then what's, and so now that you can make them hold it, but we made him hold the ball today. We, we got to get better pressure because, you know, sometimes he, he sat back there and looked like he took, you know, we never got to him. But we just got to continue to get better and, and, and make sure that we can pressure the quarterback. You know, I think Bryce got him one time on a three-man rush. And then Roberson, we put him in. He ended up knocking the ball out of his hand on the backside. But it's still about that. I know your record's still three and four, not what you want, but do you feel like you're a good team yet, or how far away are you? I think, Kirk, we can still continue to improve, and, and, and I tell our players all the time, you know, they have to believe that they're a good team, because if they, once they believe it, then they'll start playing like it, and they'll play like it all the time. But I said to them that, uh, this morning when I was talking to them, I said, let's, let's get something straight, guys. I know we beat Oklahoma, but we're still sitting here two and four. So let's not get full of ourselves and let's not start believing what everyone is saying or what don't, you know, just don't buy into it. Let's let us continue to improve this football team and let us continue to get better because we have we can have us a good season. We can end up the right way, but we just we have to continue to play. 
and we just can't go out there and just go through the motion. You know, we was warming up, and I called us up during warm-up, and I, and I had to, you know, let's tell them some things because I just didn't like the way we were warming up. You know, it was kind of just going through it. Okay, it's wet. Okay, I, we understand that. What do you want me to do, move the clouds? I can't move the clouds, okay? I can't, so I can't stop the rain. But, okay, so is, is it raining? Look at the far end. Is it raining down there? They're warming up pretty good, so let's get into it, and let's just let's stop going through the motion. <clears throat> All right, thanks.